how much do you get or what germinates when you sell like 100 seeds what's the percentage of germination he said ah uh, 30 but sometimes even zero if i'm lucky 40 percent i told him plant tech we are talking about 95 plus at worst 90 percent It is a venture that has had many farmers, according to propagators, smiling all the way to the bank with a unique kind of propagation of ordinary seeds in what Plantex says is a game changer in the agricultural sector, there being a huge gap in realizing food security in the country. We thought it's a small gap that we're going to enter and cover, but the more we, we enter to this and ask questions and went around Kenya and uh, spoke with the farmers we realized that it will be very very difficult for us also to satisfy the market and there is only one indication when you're walking in Plantec and you see the tables are actually 99% full you can know that farmers are making money. And Plantech marketing director Eden Salvi explains the reason behind the formation of Plantech and why in Kenya. Out of Africa, there's nothing like farmers doing seedlings for themselves. Okay, because we are propagators. Okay, propagation and farming, there are two different sciences. Our profession is from seed to seedling. Farmers should do the follow-up from the seedlings until the harvesting stage. The propagation of seeds at Plantech is not the ordinary kind of farming process farmers are used to. Plantech marketing manager John Wambogo explains the unique process of propagation of seeds here. Wambogo says they work with farmers who request the type of crops they need. We are talking about the tomatoes, the capsicum, the cabbages, the spinach, and the local vegetables, managu, terele, saget. Then we have a group of what we call now the hubs. Hubs again, there are a number of hubs being done in this country. We do have oregano, talagon, chives, we have thyme, we have basil, we have rosemary and meat, just to name a few. They however propagate almost any kind of seeds that exist in these four hectares of land where the greenhouses stand. We are doing foods like popo, we are doing um, macadamia, we are doing uh, things like uh, passion, the yellow and the, the purple one. We are doing tea tomatoes among many other fruits. We also do flowers. For flowers, I can say there are two levels. We have now the, the home flowers, the one that you just plant in your, in your farm or in your home. It is a process that is carefully monitored and calculated with the soil having been exported from a deep forest from Latvia in Europe. For let be pit moves, there is certain algae which is necessary to convert the organic matter into pitmos. And it's only found in Latvia. All the world, it's only in Latvia where you can get the pitmos. And a combination of technology from Israel, Germany and Italy, the process will guarantee the use of pitmos as soil as opposed to the commonly used cocoa peat. It got no nutrients. It just plain, it got nothing, nothing. It's like you eating plastic, it's nothing, nothing in there. No. So you're giving your seedlings nothing. Can you imagine giving a small baby nothing? At the crucial stage, you're giving it nothing. No. And again, the board between the, the cockpit and the roots is not firm. And once the seeds are watered, they are then filled by machines in trees that are compact to create maximum uniformity. This machine, for example, can sow a million seedlings of cabbage per day. Farmers will tell you, if we do their own Kienyeji uh, propagation, they're in their garden. You realize that you find your farm, you're harvesting at a different intervals. Today a broker will come, buy a quarter. After three days, um, a week, you come and harvest again. And they realize the more they delay, the poorer the quality. So you realize your farm have grade one, grade two, three and four. Once the seeds are well arranged in the trees, they are then taken to different germination rooms depending on which type of crop. Naturally, because of survival tactics, the, the seeds will germinate at various intervals just to ensure that in case one is destroyed, 
the rice can germinate and continue generation. For us, we make the environment so sweet that the seeds cannot resist, just germinate. And they all germinate at the same time. This germination at the same time is what now will reflect in the uniformity because they will be all the same height. Bambogo further explains the importance of plants growing in uniformity. And we have two chambers. One is cool, the other one is warm. Various crops require different temperatures to break this so-called seed dormancy. Now, we call them the, the Solana seed family. These are the capsicum, the tomatoes, and also watermelon. They require warm temperatures to break this seed dormancy. Further, the pit moss is able to ensure strong roots of plants, nothing short of the saying, a tree with strong roots withstands any storm. You, you just transplant your seedling from your nursery. Because of uh, you, when transplanting, you, you realize that you're going to cut or destroy the root network, you injure the plant. Now, two things can happen. High chance that plant can even die, depending on the extent of the damage of the roots. The beauty of these crops cannot go unnoticed. And just like humans, the plants cannot resist to express their glory when treated exceptionally. Regardless of how beautiful your farm looks like, if, if the production is low, you are not in business, you are not a commercial farmer. Because what you take to the, to the market is the produce. This is one of the reasons why farmers will travel for miles just to ensure that they are able to put food on their tables, literally. Any farmer who needs to produce commercially or for subsistence purposes can acquire the seedlings with the fairest possible prices. Eden says his vision is to see farmers reap good produce. So we experience and we burn our own fingers. We used to buy a lot of seeds and there's no really professional uh, propagat uh, propagators to, to, to sow our seeds in good percentage and actually for good quality of seedlings. However, the issue of middlemen dealing with farmers remains a thorn in the flesh of minting good returns after selling their produce. Farmers actually are, are gambling here. And farmers who doesn't um, planting a consistency will always face challenge by selling their product. Sometime in the, in the year, maybe two, three, four months, even if you do everything right, the market is flooded. Consistency, he says, is also key for the farmers to make good money from their farms, whether small scale or large scale. The government has been urged to work on the systems where farmers can sell their produce without involving middlemen or brokers who most of the time leave farmers counting losses. Any system for a market, so it's actually going with connections. If you know the middlemen, you'll win. If you don't know the middlemen, you lose even if you're doing a very good job. Plantech not only propagates seedlings of vegetables for farmers but also works on grafting of flowers and a variety of trees just according to a farmer's request. It is a phenomenon that has had many farmers, both small scale and large scale, from across the country flock, while many have crossed borders just to get a piece of the cake, with many recording no regrets at all. Diana Rachel Mbogua, Ibru TV.